Um, my whole career uh, in very different ways has been on um, environmental sustainability and social justice, working with companies to change their approaches and practices. And I've, I've run a whole range of public private partnerships to try and get sector transformation to um, more sustainable ways of working. And practical action has got this, this real link between you know being incredibly grounded in communities understanding their needs and what works for them but being able to take that upper level so that we're not just running project after project but we are taking the experience that we have on the ground and we are working with governments and companies and financial institutions to change the systems that keep people poor and vulnerable and that's why I joined practical action One of the challenges in some of the roles I've had in, in the past is, you know, we, we've been, the private sector has been great at working together and working with NGOs, but not always great with working with governments. And I've come into practical action and I see, you know, what, one of our strengths is we are so embedded in communities. We, we understand the context so well. We understand how to work with local, regional, national government. And we've already got some really exciting partnerships with companies. And I think because we can we can play that convening role across all those levels and all those different types of um, institutions, those really local community groups that are fundamental to change that works, government at all levels, and then all types of private sector, private sector that are really focused on national markets, and then that, those international companies, you know, there's international supply chains that have huge impacts on the type of agriculture that happens in, in many countries, for example, or the way that energy is provided in countries, for example. And I think, you know, the, the space the practical action occupies in being able to bring those different organisations together and convene them in ways that understands their own interests and their own constraints, but can bring them together in a way that actually can achieve scale on some of these things that everybody wants, but doesn't quite know how to do either by themselves or in conjunction with others. I think we have a really important role to play on that. We all know that the impacts of climate change are felt most by communities that are already vulnerable. But I think if you look at a lot of the um, the way that finance flows um, and the way that policy is made about climate change, that doesn't always get the types of change and the types of and, and the financial flows to where it's needed most in ways that really work for communities. And I think one of the key roles that we have is demonstrating what works on the ground, how communities are able to respond to what is catastrophic climate change already in many cases, um, how they are building resilience um, into their into their life um, in, in, in a day to day basis and how we make that the norm in, in places that are having to adapt or, already. And what we do is take that experience and make sure that that is fed into the, you know, the wider negotiations. And we are doing a lot of work to really try and influence the way that finance flows into, um, into solutions in the most vulnerable countries. What we can do is show how it's already being done. There's lots of programmes and projects that we have that shows how effective this can be and then shows how um, we can, what, what is needed to, to scale that up. The journey that Practical Action's been on from, you know, putting out that, that challenge that actually you need people at the centre, not technology in the centre. That was where we started from. And now I think as we look at, you know, all the experience that so many organisations have on running projects and programmes, I think, you know, the, the, the focus that the Practical Action now has on systems change, not just programming on the ground and making sure that we as an organisation that links 
the North and the South is playing the most relevant role we possibly can in terms of, of, of change, not taking on roles that other people can do better, but making sure that we use our, our particular niche and our particular ability to link work on the ground with systems change. Um, I think that's a very important role for us. And I think there's a number of other organisations and development institutions that are going to have to change their, their, you know, the way they work quite fundamentally so that you know, the right organisations are playing the right roles. Practical Action has this very, very long history of doing really inspirational work on energy access. Um, and I think for, you know, for a long time we were doing implementation as well as driving thinking and practice through you know, publications like Our Poor People's uh, energy outlook, which did tr drive change in, 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 in institutions. I think if we look at energy now, there's been you know such a growth in um, social enterprises and private sector provision for last mile communities that you don't need organisations like ourselves doing implementation in the way that we have previously. But what we do do, you know, we've incubated an organisation called the Global Distributors Collective. And what that does is bring together, you know, organisations who are providing energy, energy products, energy services, other services for last mile communities. And we are supporting those organisations to do an even better job and do it in ways that work for communities, have the right business models to be sustainable in the long term, are linked to the right investment um, facilities so that they can grow and develop. So we're not doing the work on the ground, but we are playing this incredibly important facilitative um, and, and development role for other organisations who can provide those services in a more uh, a more sustainable way in the long term. Some of the immediate things on uh, my my personal horizon, um, we are we're running a set of. Um, webinars around regenerative agriculture so um, I know it's incredibly exciting for me I've got a background in public private partnerships uh, um, in the agriculture sector and I come to practical action who again this, this deep heritage of working with smallholder farmers trying to improve um, food security, livelihoods, but really doing it in a way that is focused on agroecology and building up soils and, and biodiversity so that it, it works for the planet as well. And, and I'm seeing this shift um, in a lot of focus from companies now and thinking about how regenerative agricultural practices really play out in their supply chains as, as they're looking at, again, the long-term future of farming communities that they work with and also thinking about their role in supporting um, climate in dealing with climate change so we're, we're running a set of um, um, regenerative agriculture sessions looking at you know the learning so far from that experience and how we can scale that up and I'm, I'm really looking forward to building um, a number of large-scale transformational partnerships uh, coming out of that work we are about to launch an exciting publication looking at waste management services and how to optimize those for low-income communities and that's linked um, much more directly now into circular economy approaches which again are critical for the future of our planet so something that I'm incredibly excited about is a new partnership that we've got with a couple of private sector companies, um, who's, one of whom is their, their, you know, their mission is to, to keep plastic waste out of the oceans. Uh, another company is there um, to turn the plastic waste into um, a fuel. Um, but we are working with them to make sure that the way that plastic is collected uh, from communities and kept out of rivers and out of oceans actually changes the way that services and waste management services are delivered for those communities and, 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 lead, and leads to really good benefits for uh, waste pickers in, in those areas. And I think what we can show with that, I hope, is a business model that really works.